What's good everyone, I'm MyTD. Welcome back to the channel. And listen, today is the day that we've been waiting for forever. Not one, but two Halloween games have officially been confirmed today. I, I am in complete shock. I, dude, I'm so, I'm dreaming, bro. I'm about to cry, genuinely. I'm so, I was stuck at work the whole day with this news and I just wanted to get home like, we gotta talk about it. So listen, this was announced by IGN on Twitter first. It looks like exclusive. Halloween is getting its own Unreal Engine 5 game with John Carpenter intimately involved. Evil Dead the Game Studio Boss Team Games are working on two games based on the 1978 horror classic. So we waited this long to get a Halloween game and we're not only getting one, we're getting two. We don't know what this means. We don't know too much information on what these games will actually look like. Looks like the majority of the community is already thinking that maybe this means we'll be getting a asymmetrical Halloween game and a story single player Halloween game, which the, the community is pretty much split on what they want. Some people want a full on asymmetrical horror game. Other people are completely tired of that and they want a single player story, which majority of people believe works best for Halloween as an IP. But let's go on to see what the rest of the, the article says. Two new games based on the 1978 horror classic Halloween are in development at Boss Team Games. IGN can exclusively reveal. While details are limited, both games are apparently being developed in conjunction with the producers of the Halloween franchise. What's more, one of the games is being developed in Unreal Engine 5 and will include input from the original director, John Carpenter. Super dope to have John Carpenter involved, obviously, but it's interesting that they, they make it a point to know that one game is being made on Unreal Engine 5 and that game will have input on with John Carpenter. They do reveal a little bit of a cover poster here that looks absolutely amazing. Halloween, the game is the title we can go off of. It says the night he comes to your home, super dope here. And then it does have a www.halloweengame.com. We're gonna see if that's actually anything. Oh, dope. So they have a website up as well with a little video gamey 3D model of a of the Halloween pumpkin. That's cool, dude. I, I can't believe this is actually happening. You can see at the bottom here, the developers that they have, Boss Team Games, Compass International, and Further Front. I don't know anything about Compass and Further Front, to be honest with you. Obviously, Boss Team Games is behind games like Evil Dead the game. I believe they're also working on that Jurassic Park game. So they know, they did World War Z as well. They know IP games. Returning back to the article, it does go on to say, as a huge gamer myself, I'm thrilled to help bring Michael Myers to life again in this game. And my hope is to scare you silly, said Carpenter, who will be intimately involved with the development of the new project. According to the official release, the game will allow players to relive moments from the film and play as classic characters from one of the most iconic and important horror films of all time. The two new games are being developed in association with Compass International Pictures and Further Front with the Unreal Engine 5 project still in early development. While Halloween is now more than 45 years old, there have been few video games based on the legendary slasher franchise. The closest the series has seen to an actual adaptation is 1983's Halloween on the Atari 2600, in which you play as a babysitter, presumably Laurie Strode, trying to find a safe room while being hunted by Michael Myers. The Shape is also one of the many villains to appear in Dead by Daylight, Behavior Interactive's popular multiplayer horror game. But we do actually get a little bit of a peek here when it says things like relive moments from the film and play as classic characters. That, that kind of makes me think a little bit more towards a single player type game rather than a multiplayer game. Obviously, we'll have to see how that works out. The article does continue to say, everyone at Boss Team Games are huge fans of horror and Halloween, obviously holds a special place in the hearts of all horror fans. Said Boss Team Games CEO, Steve Harris, getting to work with iconic characters like Michael Myers and build on John Carpenter's original vision is a literal dream come true. Everyone at Boss Team is thrilled and honored to be working with John Carpenter to deliver a one of a kind experience that fans of the movies and video games will love. And that's as far as it goes when it comes to the news on Halloween the game. Listen, subscribe with notifications set to all so you don't miss out on updates on this game. We waited forever for this. And I, I'm so excited, bro. I thought maybe I wouldn't live to see it, but it's actually happening. 
and i just i can't wait hopefully we get some more info soon if you haven't already slash the like button subscribe and notification set to all and join slash game to support the channel directly comment down below what's your thoughts on this what do you want to see from the halloween game and yeah dude it's it's actually happening till then remember the rules to survive don't do drugs don't have sets and oh yeah don't die.